My name is Connie, and I'm a single mother of four kids. They have a habit of gathering with me in the kitchen. When they were younger, I could have never imagined the miracle this would produce. It's kind of like the glue that held everything together. My oldest one is Catherine. She's 19 years old. Catherine is really good at math. And then I have Taylor, who's 16. She is super quick-witted. Logan, who's 13. If you could think of a perfect brother, that's what he is. I would say I just keep everyone kind of normal. And Claire, who's 10. She is very creative as well. Some of the things we like to do together are jumping on the trampoline and riding bikes and going to the park. One thing that we do a lot is cooking together. When my children were little, they would always come find me and they'd want me to do something with them. And I'd be like doing this task and they're like, hey mom. And I'd be like, oh, I need to do my task until I was like, why not have them involved in those tasks? There were times when I just wish I could get it done myself, <laughs> but I'd be like, it doesn't matter how messy it is. I want to be with them and so it's worth it. So as they get older, I say, come here, I want to show you how to make cheese sauce or Spanish rice. And they'd be like, okay. We learned how to make like guacamole and lasagna and all these different things. And when I went up to school, I was like the only one in my apartment who could make a meal. Now, every night around 6.30, they tend to gather. There have been times when I'm like, oh, I feel claustrophobic. And then I stop myself, just like I did way back then, saying it's not about convenience or speed or cleanliness. This is what matters. We're just always laughing and joking. And if you spill something or if you like mess something up, like it's never angry. It's more like a, just funny and like start over and let's try again. When we're cooking, I usually feel really calm and like open and just like it's easy to talk. I have had so many experiences where they start to talk about stuff that they would never talk about otherwise. Why don't I just go back down and You have to reach as high as you can. You don't want to stay where you're comfortable. It's not about being comfortable. It's about trying to figure out how you can reach to that higher place. See, I don't know why you don't have to help with your homework. Can you guys like set aside some time for sure? Yeah, Kevin. I totally have faith in you. I know you can do it. You know that, right? When I'm talking to my mom, I feel like really like loved and it makes me feel like really good inside. Like She's not just like my mom, she's a person that like watches over me every single day and thinks about me every single day. When I'm in the kitchen with my mom and the family, it is just like the happiest I think that we are. Going through what I've been through, I would sometimes feel very empty. And I kind of like my whole plan for life had been derailed. These experiences with my kids would be the things that would fill me up. Read it! <laughs> when they were little, I would often tell myself, this is a practice in patience. <laughs> but I didn't know what that practice in patience was going to bring to us. It's something sweeter than I could have ever imagined.